Hi guys, today we're going to make my five favorite savory tartalettes. We're going to make a plain tartalette, we're going to make a parmesan cheese tartalette, a deep fried tartalette, a spring roll tartalette, and a carrot glass tartalette. So, let's begin. We're going to start with the carrot glass tartalette. This recipe is for 60 tartalettes. First pour 800 grams of carrot juice into a saucepan together with 6 grams of salt and 12 pieces of cardamom. Now reduce this till you're left with 300 grams of carrot juice. Once it's reduced, pass it through a fine sieve. Then add 90 grams of ultimate sugar together with 25 grams of potato starch and 20 grams of glucose syrup. Blend this till smooth. Now pour it back into the pan and while stirring, bring it to a boil. Once it has boiled, pour it into a bowl and let it cool down in your fridge. After that, transfer it on a silicon sheet that's covered with a circled stencil and spread it. Then remove the stencil and dry the carrot base at 110 degrees Celsius for 70 minutes. Once it's dry, transfer it on a small tetelab mold and when still hot, press another mold on top. Then keep them dry and covered for later. Now for a plain but still very delicious tatelette. First transfer 170 grams of flour on your worktop and use the bowl to make a well in the middle. This recipe is for 40 tatelettes. Then fill it with 60 grams of water, 10 grams of sugar, 3 grams of salt and 20 grams of olive oil. Now mix all the ingredients and then knead it into a nice dough. By this point I noticed I totally forgot to add the yolk. That's 15 grams of egg yolk. So I kneaded it for another minute and then you can let it rest for at least one hour in your fridge. After that, flour your worktop and put the dough on top. Then roll it out till the dough is around 2 to 3 millimeters thick. Cut the dough with a round cutter. Then lay the dough on the tartalette mold and put another mold on top. Stack the tartalette max with four layers. Let the dough rest in your fridge for at least 30 minutes and then bake them at 160 degrees Celsius for around 30 minutes till golden. Remove them when still hot to prevent them from breaking. Now the easiest and quickest tatelette. That one we're going to make from spring roll dough. It's very fast and it only takes a couple of minutes. So first separate the leaves from each other. Then brush a thin layer of water on the dough and put another layer of dough on top. Now drizzle some neutral oil on top and spread it evenly. Then cut it with a round cutter. Two pieces of spring roll dough equal nine tatelettes. Now just like we did with the plain tatelettes, you can stack them in between the tatelette molds. These tatelettes are really great and you can make them for less than a cent a piece. Now bake them at 160 degrees Celsius for around 20 to 25 minutes till golden. Then also remove them when still hot and keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the fried tatelettes. This is for 50 tatelettes. First pour 300 grams of vegetable broth into a measuring cup and also add 3 grams of salt, 50 grams of flour, 50 grams of rice flour, 25 grams of cornstarch and 1 egg. Blend this till smooth. Then heat up some neutral oil till it's 170 degrees Celsius and also heat up your stamp. I'll link mine in the description. Once it's hot, gently press the stamp in the batter and then fry it till it starts to color. It should fall off pretty easily, but otherwise just give it a little push. Once deep fried, season with some salt and then keep them dry and covered for later. The final tatelette is the parmesan cheese one. For this, grate a thick amount of parmesan cheese on a silicon sheet. Then tidy up the edges and bake the parmesan at 180 degrees celsius for around 4 to 5 minutes. You only want the cheese to melt and dry out a bit, so not to turn crispy yet. Then let it cool down for a minute and cut it with a round cutter. Now remove the rounds from the sheet and place them like I showed you guys before between the tatelet molds. Now bake them for another 50 minutes till golden and crispy. Gently remove them when still hot for the best result. 
So there you have it, my favorite savory tatalets. Now you can use them in many ways and I already have a lot of videos on that. Here I serve the plain one with a delicious courgette and fennel salad, a pickled lemon cream and some beautiful fennel leaves and flowers. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. The tatalets look amazing. Um, yeah, let's just quickly dig in. This is the plain one. Um, it's still very delicious and yeah, it's super crispy. Mm. Yeah, it's just a normal tatalette. Nothing special, but really nice. Mm. It's a bit drier. And I also made this one. Mm. And this is with a little bit of uh, courgette and fennel. And yeah, with the cream and everything and the flowers, it's so much more flavorful. And I think the plain one is just a really good base for all kinds of ingredients. Then we have the Parmesan, the Parmesan cheese. Mm. Yeah, it's 100 Parmesan cheese, 100%. And it's super crispy, super flavorful, and it's just very good. Then we have the fried one. Yeah, that's also, yeah, also super crispy. Yeah, very delicious. The flavor is really good. You can taste the broth and um, yeah, the texture stays really well, even if you fill it with um, a liquid filling. Well, not a liquid, but like a cream or anything. It stays really well and really crispy. Yeah, so that's really, really nice as well. Then we have the spring roll run. Um, this one is super easy. Yeah, it's, yeah, like I said, it's two layers of spring roll and it only takes minutes to make. So that's really nice as well. Yeah, and just like the plain one, um, very delicious, but simple and it can combine with almost anything. And then finally we have the, the carrot glass crisp. This one is really nice. Um, if you can just take the measurements of the liquid. So in this case, I think it was 300 grams of carrot. I'm not sure. But the carrot juice, the reduced carrot juice, if you just replace it with any kind of other juice, you can use the same amount of um, yeah, potato starch and uh, the sugar. It's all the same. Just replace the liquid with something else and you have a recipe for life, really. Yeah, also super. Yeah, this one is really super flavorful. That's so nice. Mm. It turned soft already because the humidity right now, it's yeah, it's out of the roof. It's crazy, crazy. And you can really notice that because it's been standing here for almost two hours now. So really keep it well uncovered and then you're totally fine. But otherwise, make sure you serve it straight away after serving. Otherwise it turns soft. So guys, um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share it and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing videos and recipes like this. And as always, bon appétit!